Hi everybody, this is Paul from the Inland Empire Raw Foods Meetup Group. I'm here with my dear friend May, the representative at Goodwins Organics. And today we are preparing for the Cranberry Festival coming up here at Goodwins Organics in beautiful Riverside, California. And if you're in the area, we would love to see you there. So here's the information for the Cranberry Festival. So go ahead and take that down. And also uh, I'm going to show you the recipe here also on the web. So if you'd like to take the notes, which is what I like to do if I see a YouTube video, I like to take the notes, that way I don't have to keep rolling this over and over again and you won't have to see my funny face. <laughs> now this recipe is based on the mango pie I tasted by uh, a dear friend of mine named Alexis. She made me a mango pie and she asked me if I wanted to keep the rest of it. And she didn't have to twist my arm because that thing was gone <laughs> in seconds. And I believe she got the recipe from Annie Field, who has a wonderful, wonderful book on how to make desserts and such. So uh, this recipe is derived from that. So rather than using mangoes, the cranberries are the only difference. And I added a little bit of cacao extract to give it a kind of a wonderful, wonderful zing. So. In the time it takes for you to run this food processor, you will have cranberry relish, and it's fresh, and it's raw, and it's good for you, unlike its cooked dead cousin that you buy in a can. I relish the thought. <laughs> so what we're going to start with is we're going to start with about 8 ounces of cranberries, organic cranberries. You can get these at Goodwood Organics, of course. So I'm just going to go ahead and just pour the whole lot of them inside this food processor. There we go. And I'm going to take approximately a cup of soaked dates. Now you could, uh, depending on your sweet tooth, you could use more or less, but I'm going to use approximately a little more than a cup of soaked dates and add these to the cranberries. That'll work. That should work. A little less than a half cup. I don't want it to be too sweet. Then I'm going to take a little slice of vanilla. Now, if you want, you can use vanilla extract. That's perfectly fine. I prefer a vanilla bean and to extract the seeds. Oh, and it just it smells so good. You know, one of these days when modern technology kicks in even more. We'll be able to smell this on YouTube, and I'm gonna tell you this is this is the most wonderful, wonderful aroma. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna slice open this vanilla bean, and I'm gonna peel it open like so. Then I'm gonna scrape out the seeds here. So we got all these black seeds on the knife here, and I'm gonna put that in my food processor. And there's hundreds and hundreds of seeds here. And what's that going to do? Is this going to give it a really nice, nice flavor? Now, vanilla, when it combines with chocolate, is the wonderful, the most wonderful complement of flavors. So, what we found at Goodwin's Organics was this organic chocolate extract. And what I want to do is put a little dash of that to complement the vanilla. It's going to give it the most wonderful flavor ever. Now you can use cacao powder, but I prefer the extract. It's more concentrated, and plus the cacao powder is going to turn this brown. We don't want that. We want a more purpley, purpley hue to the finished product. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of a dash of the chocolate extract. There we go. And to this, we're going to add just a touch or a pinch of sea salt. And the sea salt is just going to bring out the flavor. Think in terms, like I've said often, as the French chef who's making a chocolate souffle, he just adds a pinch of salt to just to balance out the flavor. And as always, I prefer unrefined salt. Celtic gray sea salt is my favorite. Himalayan sea salt is good. Unrefined salt is the best because you got sodium chloride plus 80 other minerals. If you use refined sea salt that's been bleached, it's pure sodium chloride, all the minerals have been taken out, it's not very healthy. You want to avoid that. 
but unrefined sea salt is good for you. Just uh, moderation is the, is the key, so too much of a good thing can be wonderful. I believe Mae West said that, <laughs> but I digress, I confess. And then um, to that I'm going to add approximately a half cup of coconut oil. And we're just going to blend this up and we will have cranberry relish which can easily be made. It's good for you. You can have it on Thanksgiving. If you're in the Inland Empire area, uh, around November 20th, on November 20th, we're having a Thanksgiving demo, and I'll be showing you how to make uh, this recipe in person as well as many other uh, recipes you can make for Thanksgiving that are actually healthy. So instead, if you're a raw vegan, this is good to do, especially on Thanksgiving. Rather than eating the cooked dead food, you could eat live food. And as Jay Cordes, the juice man, said, live food, live bodies, dead food, dead bodies. So uh, love to see you there. Here's the information for that if you'd like to join us. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, mix this up, turn on the juice, and see what shakes loose. Here we go. So I'm going to serve this and, and, and so, okay, now I'll make some for us to see how this turned out. Wow. There's one for you. Okay. And one for me. And I believe we have spoons. Here we go. Beautiful. This is way better than the dead version. Absolutely. So instead of buying canned cranberries, this is one of the things you can make for your Thanksgiving meal. So uh, this is in honor of the Cranberry Festival coming up at Gibbons Organics. Again, this is the information. And for all of the ingredients here, um, I'll have a list of that. Also, if you'd like a PDF version of this recipe, it'll be on our website at the Inland Empire Raw Foods Meetup Group. I believe uh, there it is right there. This is our website. So what you do is just go to this website right here, and there's going to be a tab, and it says More. And you just click on More, and it has our file section. You can find our newsletters, our recipes. So I'll be sure to put that recipe up there. It's not there right now because we're in real time. So it'll be there in a few days. So by the time you find this YouTube video, and you go there, it should be up there. I'm pretty sure it will be. <laughs> so this is Paul at the Good Ones Organics with my friend May, wishing you the best health ever. Take care. Bye.